ade ebe anope ye mo modena ye ni Mr. Ken Ashigbe a wo ye wo mo epanyi ye ni no ending ko Mr. Ashigbe anope ye mo kwa ba ebe jumedie no eso ene na emu design anope Jesus shine na pe yo per mo release no eh anope e wo se eh ni pododo no mo entimi register mo sim card no wo mo mo ji wo mo ahoma no efri wo mo ensem anye bia no maje eh yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, barring the uh, yeah, and yeah, switch we walk out and walk with them. And over nine million for now, yeah, yeah, be deal with them. I say individually, uh, we anti telcos, no be on my own band in batch since over three days. No, mm. we be a new anti, sir. Would the anchor off and now one church now, no chinichi ever caught in tea, the yana say immediately now. No, why yet? Yeah. Uh, first face in the da just all Ghana card no call mm. tell cos no asia and now uh the be able to say assistant card uh, registration yeah yeah or no and now we uh the the forty seven we say uh well we download the app no now the app no I no way to have C D so opening nini when mean be say as tell cos no are you happy about some more deactivity amount for sims nine million of them no, 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 no. We are not happy at all. And yet, and yet, yeah, we are not set up to be deactivating uh, SIM cards. Let me ensure, sir, Minister for Communication and Digitalization, and the NC, they are also not happy because at yeah, 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 it comes at, at great cost. Already, SIM registration and are hey, expensive. Mm. Now, barring, yeah, 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 uh, for every call, I'll be, you know, the uh, credit, I'll be, you know, yeah, CST also. Uh, other mm. two or four was so I equa by uh, a month for so I'm using almost same cards. No, I'm with the age, you know, uh, 11 years or you see mobile money, 11 be by and also the car by a month for Nancasa. So, and no, maybe we are at the end of the year, so make sure uh, corporate income tax and no my new year, I'm with you. And yeah, and yeah, yeah, for us as members, no, uh, tell us no, yeah, 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 it's something that. Uh, in I will say do baby cry not tell us no more uh, be registration abroad one gig of data and no money. We did all of those things to entice people, spent a lot of money, you know, put employee extra staff just to get people registered and all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, barring yeah, uh, and because not for us, yeah. Na, Nine million of uh, yeah, more subscribers and uh, over the period mobi you more free more networks in as well. What are the cost implications? How much? Uh, would it be costing you in terms of musica and revenue and kebab mohos when you pan or your call or your transactions be our crampa? How much do you envisage that this is going to cost you? Well, it, it, this would be something that would be difficult to put a direct number, but you know, you you eventually use law of averages. Uh, Ghana, no shy, average, average revenue per user hey, around 20. Uh, in 2021, it was around 20 Ghana cities, you know, into mm. any average. Mm. And you multiply 20 million by uh, 9 million on, on a monthly basis, that is potentially how much revenue. But it will, it will definitely be more than that. And mm. uh, I know you're yeah, just on one side, you know, there are other things that people on the networks would also be able to do and all of that. And see, the revenue potential, it's the reason why as we speak, you know, uh, we'll continue to keep uh, uh, the, the various uh, SIM registration out outlets still open and hoping that, you know, people would go out and go and do the SIM registration so that uh, their services can be restored to them. And then also, but you see, the thing also that we all need to do is that know is that uh, this SIM registration itself is a good policy, a uh, policy that is directed at ensuring that so we have a robust, you know, database so that... Uh, uh, fraudulent practices in my area will be a thing of the past, and we'll be able to then deepen uh, digitalization, be able to do other things because when you say, uh, oh, you see two way, you pan out, you see two way, um, number no, and you pan the correct person, and yes, you know, fleet to do now, yeah, hack you be WhatsApp, yeah, you know, banks, no cry complaining, I'm out for that friend, you know, man, see, we definitely need to sanitize. Uh, cyber security place and make sure said digitization you did to me at some kind of the can now it's me yeah you mind see it has it's that's an intent uh good intent the the only challenge uh 
a buyer yeah, because of the fact that uh, you know, the only card we can use is the Ghana card and the new Biane will be but in this particular case, you no, know, the barring that is happening in this particular case, you no, know, and yet for in conform with the Ghana card they will not be affected because they, they will not come to them yet. And I'm sure you know those conversations are going on. Mm. You know, but this are for for on my affairs. Uh, stage and the question will be busa or one is it and then will be one Ghana card what register yeah even uh, sims 10 now sims 10 no back up and now bio capture i don't know you're not in our can i don't know it is those those are the questions that you ask yourself and then the end yeah we need to really make sure because this is what a pleasant thing any country wants to do buying our over nine million subscribers you know it has major implications and the see it me here should be a be rolling the back and it would require efforts from all stakeholders including uh, subscribers and kasa open it maybe a question for you uh and you be no as much as you highlight the importance of the exercise shouldn't necessarily have come with an expiration date the the, the, the you see those are questions that you need to ask the the policy maker because mm. you know the policy maker has you know a better view of the way things are going but, but you, you are stakeholders who are being impacted so negatively are, in terms of I revenue sure you, i am sure you're also a stakeholder are you not indeed i am and yes, i'm concerned yeah. about so it what, so what's your view my view is that it shouldn't have an expiration date what's your view so you, so yeah, so why why do you say that? So since you want us to swing 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 it over, yes, yeah, so no, you ask me my view. I have said my, but I'm asking <laughs> so, you again. So, why, that, so I'm asking. So hmm. why why do you say that? What's your basis for that? Well, if you answer mine, I've I've already answered one for you. But you answer mine for me, and then we can go ahead. I'm saying that as 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 chamber, do you think this should have come with an expiration date? You see, the 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 answer is not a yes or a no answer. The, so we need to deal specifically with those who have the Ghana card, who have started. Mm. Should they have a period where they, com they complete their exercise? Yes. Mm. Should people who do not have the Ghana card, and should they uh, be uh, should there be an uh, uh, an expiration period when they can it, the only expiration period is at the point where they get the Ghana card mm. you see because the condition precedent is the fact that I need a card to be able to register so if I don't have the card to register you cannot then make that a condition precedent that's why I'm asking so that, that's why your question has to be put into the right context mm. in terms of the this particular one that we're doing you know but the the challenge also in this particular one is that unfortunately the system we're running you know if you don't physically have your ghana card you can't register mm. if the the collaboration between the nia and nca were tight you know, what would have happened is that once your name is on the database and because it's a biometric system if you go to any place you want to register and they have a device and i put my hand my thumb on it it would then be able to take say, say ah this particular biometrics belongs to Kenneth Tashibi. So if he says that the same as him, mm. it would happen. In, the, in this particular case as well, we've had the very first um press release uh yeah and yeah by any the press release I made this by there was a caveat that in Crawford Omun to me on my first face no to me for uh, genuine reasons you know, should call the NC. And one of the reasons is that so we are for or for no card Iraq. Now, uncle, yeah, biometric capture now. Then what it would mean is that you would not be able to because so what when I say okay, yeah, no, what police station I call reporting. No, what the police extracts. Now they are NIA office. Now what for catch on the same card I rent to me per replacement. No more say I'm going to say almost say that you will card craft first this January. Then you need at this particular stage, you know, it will inform me NTA so that you'll be exempted. You will be white listed. Then. What is going to happen? Say so you will be blocked, and that block would be no, through no fault of yours. And see, so the, the answer to the question you asked, no, it's not a simple yes or no answer. Mm. Yet it's important that we finish this exercise within a period. But there are conditions that should enable that to happen. What are the conditions, and how do you do it? How do you go about it to ensure that all of that is done? That has to happen. But when you sit also where, you know, and then, and then I've given an example where somebody, you know, has uh, 10 uh, um, SIM cards registered to its Ghana card. Mm. But then the person has done only one bio capture. Why, why, why is that so? In as much as you say, sir, 
the system should have been designed that once I do one, the rest of them should be done. This also tells you that is it possible that maybe somebody has used somebody's Ghana card to do the fair space? And so all of these also then might be bloating, uh, you know, might be creating the pre-registered uh, issues that we want to clean up. Mm. It's those, those are typical uh, critical questions that need answering, that we really need to find ways of doing it. But how do we do all of this in such a way that we don't let those who are not really within these kind of things also suffer? I think for me, those are the fundamental questions that uh, stakeholders and the professionals within the ecosystem need to really think about and find. Uh, proper solutions. Of any anti uh because uh, one of the paragraphs was very specific to clarify that. One more woman ain't me near face one no. I don't ever two more. Uh say no the end and I can say you see so ni pan in your face one then it could be say ni pan in the gather card. Mm. So it has to happen is that a lot more thinking has to go into that, you know, in terms of when is uh, you know, you say yeah, just say and I know by the law that set them up, you no. Know, they don't have a deadline to do all of that. Mm. So how do you deal with that? How do you even determine those who have the Ghana cards, who do not have the Ghana card? Uh, how do you deal with the situations of the, at some point, there are about 250,000 people. Are, um, when they attempt to do the SIM registration, it returns back to them, the data already sent, so they are not even able to do the phase one. Mm. So you need all of these issues, are normally you know, and find ways in which you resolve that, so that you then can come to that particular point. Well, I know, sir, um, but let me ask anyway, but two, two questions. I, I noticed in the statement you released, uh, Telcos are more mentioning an MT and Etel to go Vodafone, but I, I didn't find Glow. Uh, is it the case you want more any system you want to? So just that Glow is not a member of the Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications. There are other, even apart from uh, Glow, no, uh, mm. the other BWAs, uh, uh, Self Line and Norma, they are also not part of the of the chamber is the reason why they are not mentioned specifically. You see, mm. the essence of this statement you know, is to inform the the, the, the cost of uh, our members say mm. there is a regulate a policy directive that has been given that is going to be done. And so they need to be aware. It's it it is it is our obligations or Brad you say as he to me informing your members, the customers, and say we never but then yes or maybe uh soon to be in your call and also so network me many you map. And by the terms of what in terms and conditions, so say if you are taking any action uh important, say yeah, your friend is saying uh yeah yeah the uh sad message you be a bit too jack. Mr. Kenashi we have a bit of a pace uh only you didn't come out with you media so